All right, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. So what I am doing here is I am porting the intake manifold of my 2012 Chevrolet Cruze in the process of installing the fix kit on it. Now, as you can see, I went back last video and I imported the intake runners right here. So you can see that there is no dam in there. Well, I have now gone and I'm cleaning it up. And now I am porting specifically this inner lip right here. As you can see, I am making a pretty good go at it right now, but there's a little lip here where the air will come in, it'll grab the lip and it'll tumble, and it'll disturb the airflow. Maybe not very efficient. So I'm going in, it looks kind of nasty right now, but I'm going in with my Milwaukee drill with a little carbide tip for metal, and it is making very short work of that. So we'll see how that works out. All right guys, so here we go. Another bit of a look here at what we're dealing with. So as you can see, I blew it out. Go ahead and shine the flashlight of truth to justice on it. Still works, doesn't really work. Um, so as you can see, I pretty much have it bored out here and cleaned out. There's some surface delamination here because for God knows what reason, I decided to run a little bit of intake manifold cleaner or mass airflow sensor cleaner on the sensitive electronics, but maybe that was not what I needed to do. But that's it. And that bevel right there, it's a lot more open than it used to be, but I'm really not sure uh, what type of increase in performance I'm gonna see on this. There's actually, if you look right here, there's a little crevice that actually runs across and in and down the length of the molding here where it comes together. And then you have, uh, you know, so there's a lot of work to do on this, obviously, but this is what we have right here. So I'm gonna just keep cleaning this up and then I'm gonna clean the engine block up and then it should be able to, to go back on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so, so far, this is how it looks. I have the ports all cleaned up, ready to go. So what I did notice is that this gasket is looking pretty nasty. Um, you see a bunch of crud on it, and it's crushed there, and it's crushed there, and it's just not very happy. I would not feel good putting this back onto the original car. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna chunk it and just toss it. Ugh. All right, it's nature's problem now. I'm gonna order another set off of Amazon. 